how are coronavirus variants named now we had initially the namings that started with the places where these variants originated but considering various issues related to cultural factors related to discriminatory practices this was taken into account that the naming of the covid variants would take place based on the greek alphabets and in the greek alphabets as we can see on the screen there are 24 greek alphabets these start with alpha beta gamma delta epsilon uh, then you have zeta eta theta and so on so you have 24 uh, letters here now in our previous class we discussed about three types of variants those are variants of interest variants of consequence and variants of uh, variants of concern and variants of high consequence so far we have identified variants of interest and variants of concern there have been no reported cases of variant of high consequences so far which is really good but let's understand from these variants what are the new variants and what is the lineage for each variant the origin for each of the variants to begin with let's classify them as variant of concern or variant of interest so as we know alpha beta gamma delta and omicron have been considered as the variant of concern so these five are the variant of concerns then we have nu and z which have not been included in the covid variant naming so far why the reason for not including new is it is similar to the English alphabet new and therefore confusing and Z is not included because of Xi Jinping which who is a premier uh, from China. So just to avoid those controversies these two Greek alphabets have been avoided and then the jump has been on the 15th variant uh, the 15th letter which is omicron and which is the recent variant that is in news these days now alpha beta gamma delta and omicron have been considered as high uh, variants of concern and what are the variations so in alpha it was b 1.1.7 it originated with uh, in the first origins were seen in United Kingdom. Then we had beta with the variations of B1315 and this was seen in Africa. The next was gamma with a variation and lineage of P1 seen in Brazil. Now those originating from Brazil had similar variations. So we saw that P1 was a variation from Brazil and this was gamma variant of concern and then we had another variant which was zeta which was seen from again uh, the regions of brazil and it had a lineage of p2 so this was zeta from brazil again okay then we have uh, the next uh, variant which was the delta variant the origin country we know that clearly so it was uh, india and this was B1.167.2. The latest one which is Omicron is B1.1.529 and this is from South Africa. So these are the variants of uh, concern. Coming on to the next is variant of interest. Now there are two variants of interest which is the Lambda variant and the mu variant so these two are considered as the recent variant of interest lambda variant with a variation of three uh, sorry c37 from peru and uh, mu uh, variant which has uh, the lineage of b 1.621 and that is from colombia has been considered as variant of interest we also had the former variant of interest. What were those? Epicelion B1.429, B1.427 and CAL20C. And these are all seen from California as the first originating region. Then we had Zeta which we already mentioned from Brazil 
which was a lineage of p2 then there was theta which was again the lineage uh, which is p3 but that was not from brazil this was from philippines so p4 uh, philippines that's how you can remember and this was the theta variant eta variant was uh, the variant which was seen uh, from uk and nigeria as the first nations where it was found and the eta variations are b1.252 the next is the iota and the kappa variations kappa lineage was b1.167.1 so similar to the delta just the last one variation was there and this was the first reported cases in india then we had the iota lineage which was b1.526 so after the uh, eta which was b1.5 point uh, sorry b1 525 this was b1 526 and this was seen from new york us so so far we have come up to omicron after omicron the naming does not stop so you have pi rho then you have sigma then there is tau uh, epsilon phi chi psi and omega so this omega is your last 24th variant a uh, 24th uh, alphabet greek alphabet and the list of the variants are till here uh, we are not sure if there are any further variations how those they would be named so no information on that as of now but we have understood that these four these four in the beginning which is alpha beta gamma and delta along with omicron are the variants of concern the two which is the lambda and the mu are the variant of interest and the former variant of interest have been mentioned here which are the epsilon zeta eta theta lambda uh, iota and uh, kappa lambda and mu are the recent ones and then nu and xi have been removed uh, then you have omicron which is the 15th alphabet and the latest covid variant which is in news these days so this was this is how the naming has been done the regions of their first origin and a general outlook about this we would be covering many such important lectures important for your current affairs and general studies in the upcoming lectures stay tuned wish you very good luck